What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of the best team in FIFA. Today we have got a team from Mike the Knight 12 and uh, it's a formation that I don't usually go with, some players that I don't usually go with which is why I decided to take it. So he's called this a cheap-ish weekend league squad. Now before we get into this guys, if you want any PSN or MSP codes for the new team of the week, link to G2A is in the description below. Go check them out. And secondly, if you could drop a thumbs up, that would be amazing. In the last episode of the Best Team in FIFA, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do the intro, the bit of squad building, the tactics, the custom tactics, the player instructions, etc. And then play one live game so you get to see how the team fully works. Or if you wanted me to play three, four or five games and show the highlights so I could get maybe a better understanding of how the team works. And as per usual in comment sections, there's no clear answer. Like a lot of people said they wanted to see like four or five games with the overlays and me rating the midfield, defense and attack, picking out the best players, etc, etc. And a lot of people love the ruin a random style of one live game. So because I couldn't decide, I couldn't really see what was what, we're going to do today's one live again, one game. And we are going to talk about the composure stat today as well whilst doing so. And I'm going to leave a straw poll in the description so you can vote. So I'll actually have a clearer understanding of what you specifically want out of this series. Whether it's one live game or a bunch of games so that you get to see a little bit more than uh, you know what you'd normally see. So that being said guys, um, the team we've got it is a 4-3-3. It is, it is relatively cheap. There's only two special cards in it. But the two special cards are, are quite expensive, not going to lie. Actually, there's three special cards because this is his bench as well. He picked the bench. The only player that's different on my bench compared to his is this. I've got the 79 Van Dyke, and he had the uh, upgraded Van Dyke. So take that as you will. But I've got this one in my club. I don't have the other one in my club right now. But other than that, we've got Firmino, Dembele, Van Dyke, Kalion, Isco, Jovetic, and Blaise Matuidi. In, uh, on the bench. Now going into the actual team, we're going to start off with the defence and yes, yes, it is a BPL team. Um, a lot of people get frustrated with BPL teams or EPL teams. Um, me personally, I love them. Sorry, voice a bit hoarse there. And um, yeah, we start off with Courtois in goal. I'm going to build the, uh, the team real quick. We start off with Courtois in goal. Walker at right back, Valencia at left back, which is an interesting one. It did intrigue me, and we'll, I'll show you why in a, in a second. And then in defence, he has got Chris Smalling and, um, you know, the, your, your traditional partnership of doom uh, with Chris Smalling and Eric Bai. I've already applied the chemistry styles that he has on his team. Glove on the goalkeeper, anchor, anchor, anchor for the left back, two centre backs, and then Sentinel on Carl Walker. The reason why I find it interesting to have Valencia at left back is because he is right footed with a one star weak foot. Now I'm not the biggest, uh, like I, I don't really care too much about weak foot. Like people go nuts sometimes in comments and on stream and stuff. They're like, you're playing a left footed centre back at the right centre back slot and the right centre back at the left centre back slot. And for me that doesn't really matter. But when you're talking about a one star weak foot, and then you're also talking about someone out of position, so their stats are hindered as well. And then their strong foot is the wrong side of the field. Then I start to take a little bit of notice and think, you know what, that could be problematic. However, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll try it out. So we've got Bailly left centre back, Smalling right centre back, Carl Walker at right back and Valencia at left back. And for his player instructions... Um, stay back while attacking is set on all defenders and that is it. There's nothing else changed. So we go stay back while attacking for the centre backs already done and stay back while attacking. So that is the defence guys. Your standard very cheap BPL defence. In fact Courtois as well at 18 R8 goalkeepers. 26k I just bought him so he's super cheap. Uh, Buy and Smalling are like 5-6k each. Walker's a few k. Valencia the upgraded version which is what we've got there. Is, as you saw I bought him for 5k. I'm sure you could probably get him for 4.5k at a better time in the day or whatever. But that's the defence there and yeah, relatively cheap so far. Now, one of the things that really made me pick this team and want to give this team a try is because of the two centre midfielders. We've got N'Golo Kante and Idrissa Gay. Um, they are carbon copies of each other. Look like and Kante has marginally better everything, but essentially they are the same card, right? Um, Kante has 5'7", medium high, 3-star, three 3-star. Three Idrissa Gay, 5'9", medium high, 3-star, two 2-star. Two They're two workhorses. And I personally prefer attacking 
mentality midfielders. I'm not the hugest fan of defensive-minded midfielders. Maybe one of my problems as to why I can see so many goals, but I was just intrigued with this team. He has anchor chem style on both of them. For player instructions, he sets uh, stay back while attacking for Kante. Uh, so we get stay back while attacking. Um, and S-O-E-O-B. Stay on edge of box for crosses. There you go. So that's what we do for him. And then for Idrissa Gay. Stay back while attacking. And G-I-T-B. Get in the box for crosses. There you go. Um, so he sends Kante to the edge of the box. And Idrissa Gay to get in the box. And that is the two midfielders there, guys. And then in at the cam spot... We have got Adam Lallana. So another interesting one for me. A player that I've never used, but with five-star weak foot and four-star skill moves. Really nice, well-rounded stats. Looks pretty decent. The only thing I don't like about Adam Lallana um, is, is actually his chem style. And that's the, the person, uh, that's uh, Mike the Night 12's decision to put Maestro on him. I think Maestro is an absolutely useless chem style. If you look at the in-game stats that it boosts, it typically boosts stats that are just typically are not relevant to how a player plays in FIFA but we're going to go with it anyway and then for um for Lalana he's got him set to SF and GITB so uh, I guess stay forwards and then uh, get in the box for crosses so quite even though it's a defensive minded midfield other than Lalana obviously at Cam it's it's quite attacking based and with 60 shooting of Gay and 66 shooting of Kante ah uh, I'm, I'm intrigued to see how it plays on, on his opinion. Um, in at the left wing spot, guys, we've got your, your one and only uh, Anthony Martial. And in at the right wing spot, we've got the upgraded Sadio Mane. Uh, he decides to use finisher on Martial and sniper on Mane. And then for the uh, player instructions, um, we've got stay forwards for, um, for, uh, for Martial. So stay forward, S stay wide get in behind and get in the box so get in behind and get in the box and then for Mane it is uh stay forward as well stay wide as well get in the box sorry get in behind and stay on the edge of box for crosses so that interesting tactics there and then the, uh, we've got Lalana, who obviously is quite expensive I picked him up for 60k one of the more expensive players in the team everyone else to this point is super super cheap so this is in that sense a cheapish Weekend league squad up until you get to the striker. Um, and he's got ones to watch Gabriel Jesus in a striker. The, the price of the ones to watch card is about the same as the inform. So you might as well buy the ones to watch if you're going to buy it. But 160,000 coins for a player that I personally didn't like. Intriguing. High, high work rates though. Four star, five star. Very nice indeed. He's gone for a sniper chemistry style on, um, on Gabriel Jesus. And then for player instructions, he's got him set to... Uh, stay central, get in behind. Uh, so stay central, get in behind, and press the back line. Uh, so that's what he does with Gabriel Jesus. So this is a team, he, he adds as a note, most common changes around the 75th minute, taking off a winger, whoever has the least stamina, and pushing Gabriel Jesus out wide, and then bringing Jovetic in. I also bring Matuidi on for Gay as he gets low on stamina. So, And then he obviously has one fleeting sub that I guess he would use between all of the other five that he has available. There was no custom tactics set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it on um, the, the default tactics and just put it to cover and we'll play like that. This, guys, is the team. Let's go and get into a game. Okay, guys, so we have headed into Division 1 for today. We are up against Carter United. He's got Balassi... Vardy and Mkhitaryan, the Red Ericsson, uh, the ones to watch, Kante, the man of the match, Schweinsteiger. Then he's got Klein, Smalling, De Gea, Alderweireld and Danny Rose. A very nice team indeed. It's a 185. This is going to be a tough game. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, I do want to talk about the composure stat a little bit today. Um, some interesting uh, stuff just in general. Not really new news, but at the start of FIFA... At the start of FIFA, what? At the start of FIFA 17, EA introduced the composure stat as a visible stat. Supposedly, uh, according to like the sources that like like delve into all, all this kind of stuff, the composure stat has actually been in FIFA since at least FIFA 14, right? So take that into consideration. Whoops, that was my bad. That was a bad pass. Oh, this this probably be a good. Ooh. Um, since at least FIFA 14, the composure stat has been in the game. 
So with that in mind, um, why have EA decided to make it visible now? I don't know, you probably don't know, maybe you do know. If you do know, let me know, because that, that's very, very interesting to me. Um, oh, that was for the man A that on the run there. Um, so yeah, the composure stat is now visible. Footwiz added the composure stat as a visible stat on their website uh, yesterday. Um, the, the other sites similar don't have it available. This dude is a very decent player. Um, yeah, the other sites don't have it available. So uh, again, bear that in mind when you're looking for composure stat. And there's not really that much information on what it does. In terms of FIFA Mobile, which doesn't directly relate to FIFA, but in many instances does. Um, in terms of FIFA Mobile, the composure stat, that was nice from Gay. That was really nice from Gay. Oh, that's going to be a goal kick as well. Um, the composure stat is only for penalties. However, in FIFA regular, I don't think it's only for penalties. Um, I don't know what it is for. If you guys have any theories and, and feedback on what it is for, please let me know. But there are certain things that are, like happen with the composure stat. There are certain players that have high composure um, that I don't like and I, I find are, are typically pretty bad uh, in FIFA. And oh, that's a bad pass. Um, and there are certain players that uh, have really high composure that I love. But then also there are certain players that have really low composure that I absolutely hate. Now, one thing that was interesting, and, and uh, I reference um, him a lot in some of my videos because he's one of the guys that I watch the most. Just because, oh, that's a pen. God damn it. That, that was me as well. I pressed the tackle button. Uh, that's just silly for me. Um, Chris Smalling there. Get, I, I had it covered as well. I, had, I, I don't know who it was running around the back, but he couldn't do anything there. You see him running to the byline. He had no options. I've got the man, the Carl Walker there was covering the, the byline run. I press the tackle button and here we go. Um, but yeah, Dr. Jarba was using 98 Luis Suarez. Now, co composure doesn't change. Um, oh. Composure doesn't change with upgrades and informs and stuff. Composure is just a fixed stat. Uh, it, it doesn't, you know, it just doesn't change, right? So there's, there's that. He was using 98 Suarez, who has 81 or 82 composure, something along those lines. Um, and he was missing a lot of simple opportunities. So, he, you know, he, I, I, I encouraged Dr. Jarba to use Ibrahimovic, especially a special card. For me personally, I, I find Ibrahimovic to be um, uh, an, an immense card. We could have a goal here. That's a good ball. Oh, it's just, uh, this, team's, this team is like, it's too, it's very, very short. It's quite interesting that... Uh, this is a team that's enjoyed because I'm I'm very much of the opinion that a big team or a few big players are absolutely necessary in teams, you know, to win those physical battles, to win those headers, those aerial duels. Um, I personally find players like Matic, like Ibra, like like Chan, like and anyone that's like six foot or taller to be quite important in game. I don't know how tall Alana is. I don't think he's the tallest of players, so... I, I don't think this team is, is good in that sense. Um, oh, come on. But yeah, going back to Jarba, when he then put Ibra in, who has 93 composure, I believe, Ibra started scoring a lot of chances for him that he would be missing with um, with uh, the 98 team of the Suarez. So it, maybe, maybe it's arguable that composure is a, a stat that is simply due and down to finishing. Maybe, maybe it's influences the player and how they play um, in late game, early game, pressure situations, maybe, maybe influences them when they're 1-0 up or 1-0 down. But we don't know. How is that his ball? That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, we, we, don't know, we don't know what it affects or how it affects what it affects, you know, because every player has a composure stat down to goalkeepers. So for defenders, is the composure things like tackling or controlling the ball? For midfielders, is it how they pass the ball? Like, you know, there's, there's so much like there's just a big cloud basically over over the composure stat and and what it does or, or at least what it's supposed to do and um if you guys know what it does or or have theories on what it does feel free to to discuss them in the comment section because i don't know go on hey zeus that's a lovely goal i really hated him i, I haven't used the 82 card i hated the 78 version i think of him when i used it that was nice from uh, gabriel jesus there gets in the box first time he's touched the ball really Scoops around, very nice indeed. 33 minutes in, we're one-one. But yeah, guys, let let me know. What do you think about composure? How do you think it affects the team and the players? And is it a coincidence that um, people do and don't like certain players, and the composure stat is potentially a key to that? Because it'd be uh, it would be fun to know. But but on on the flip side, 
there are a lot of players that I absolutely love that have no composure. Mane, beautiful. Like Mane, for example. Mane's got like 62 composure or something like that, if I remember correctly. Maybe 66 composure or 68 composure. So, you know, that's a pressure situation for him. It's 1-1. He was composed to finish the shot. If, if the situation in the game was different, would he have missed that shot just because of composure? We don't know, and that's what I say. So if you guys have got any theories, any detailed theories, any, any, you know, any facts, any knowledge on how and or why composure works, feel free to let me know. Now, on to this team. Uh, the team feels good. It feels quick. I do like the fact that uh, the, the pace on the wings, you know, the pace of Mane, um, the pace of Gabriel Jesus is going to be in here as well. Is he going to be able to get around Klein? He can't. Um, yeah, the, the pace on the wings, Martial, um, Martial Mane and uh, Gabriel Jesus, very, very nice indeed. Obviously, the pace of the defence, Walker, Bailly, Smalling and Valencia, all very, very fast. That was, that was a bad pass from me. Um, they, they are uh, pretty, pretty uh, you know, pretty fast, pretty pacey, very good indeed. I don't mind taking a foul there. Um, the midfield feels quick as well. You know, Idrissa Gay and Kante, because of their little workhorses, because of that high aggression stat that they have, they're just all over the field all the time. I know where you're going, bro. Not an idiot here. Oh, I missed the ball anyway. Even though I read him, I still missed the ball. Um, oh, wow, Lallana just won that. That was nice. The only player that we've got like in this team that has any like real genuine height is the guy that was just on the ball there in Martial. What is he, like 5'11"? Um, no one else is uh, is is up near that, that kind of height. As, as I say, I, I don't actually know how tall Adam Lallana is. If I had to guess, I'd say 5'9". Um, but I, yeah, I just uh, I don't know on that one. So um, the 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 team definitely has a lacking in physical aspects. That's a great tackle from uh, from Smalling. Um, oh crap! I should have just cleared it. Forty fifth minute. He's, if he scores here, that's just oh, that's a nice tackle from Bai. That's great read. There you go. Two one half time guys. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into Lalana real quick and have a look at how tall he is because. Uh, as I say, I, I don't think he's much taller than 5'9", maybe 5'10", at uh, an absolute stretch. But other than that, this team, it's it's not weak because the players have good physicals. Martial has good physical, Gay and, uh, in fact, Gay, Lalana and uh, Kante all have good physicals. Mane's got decent physicals. Um, the defence, obviously, is very strong. It's been a very even game. My passing has been utterly horrendous. Um, but, yeah, in general, um, what do we got here? So, Lalana is... 5'8", yeah, that's, that doesn't surprise me. And look at that, no traits, no flares, no specialities. Uh, just all pretty crap. But yeah, the, the rest of the team, other other than it being small, it's nice to play with. It's quick, it's clean. They're good on the ball. My, my, like, my passing has been pretty bad. I, I made a mistake to uh, give up the penalty. Um, I also made a mistake to give away that free kick on the edge of the box. But the team hasn't really made any... Like, you know, like sometimes you sit there and you think, oh, this player's done this and this player's done that. But on this occasion, the team hasn't really done anything. In terms of the formation, I quite enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so used to playing with narrow formations this year because of the, the fact that they're so overpowered. You know, the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and the 4-3-2-1, which although has wingers, is actually a narrow formation because it has a left forward and a right forward. It doesn't actually have wingers per se. Um... Because of that, I, I'm so used to playing with narrow formations. That I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying playing with a, a bit of a bit of a wider formation here. Here's Gabriel Jesus. What can he do? Oh, he gets into the space. That is beautiful. Gabriel Jesus with the goal. Lovely little bit of left trigger, right trigger, dribbling there to face him up. He gets the fake shot into the space. Could have been tackled there. Faces up the goal. Does the defenders. That low driven is OP again. And I think that's our third consecutive low driven shot that we have put away in this game. Now, I have taken all three of my chances, which speaks volumes for this team. Absolutely volumes. Three shots, three goals. Is this going to be some changes made or, or, or a sub, perhaps? When we look at the team in terms of stamina, Mane is the only person that's low on stamina, really. Kante and Gay are about the same. Walker and Valencia are like, getting, getting down there. But because in divisions, there's only 90 minutes... You might want to hold on to your subs until potentially the last 15 or 20 minutes so they have a bigger impact, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, Mane would probably be the winger that I would take off so far. Even though he's been the winger that's done something in this game, whereas Martial hasn't really done anything, um, 
like I think uh, I think Mane would be the dude that I take off for the reason that he's, he's just you know low on stamina and that low stamina it affects a lot of stuff during the late game. So you know if this does become three two and gets a little bit closer, uh, I, I'm going to need the uh, the competent players that you know the the good stamina so that I don't end up giving away easy possession. Look at that Adam Lallana run there. He's away. He's got the five star four star. Let's not give up easy possession here. See that's that's what I like about this team. That they are a little bit everywhere. Every time you need a pass, there's someone, someone's there for you. Look at this, we've got Kante. Now, I'm going to have to go back, all the way back, but it's, it's, not, it's not a big issue because... Oh, look at that, Gabriel Jesus is away. Oh, I even said Gabriel Jesus is away because that's where I wanted the ball to go. Oh, that's a big save from De Gea. I should have gone far post. I thought near post was the thing to do. I really, really did. Here we go, Adam Lallana. Is he going to get on the score sheet? Oh, he still might. We've got a ball on here. What is Carl Walker doing, taking my corners? I don't know. I actually want to give this uh, throw in to Carl Walker. Come on. No, it's not going to do it. I wish EA would allow you to uh, take the giant throw if you wanted to. Martial. Ah, oh, really bad pass that was. I could, I, I could have done a bit different with that. I kind of rushed the play a little bit. He's got to go inside here. He hasn't got any other options. Wow. I did not see that pass into Vardy there. <sighs> Should be my ball. Nice. Carl Walker beats Ericsson. Gabriel Jesus gets a bit of space. Really poor pass. And that's... Look at Kante again. Love it. I genuinely love these uh, these two midfielders. As I say, what I would probably do is um, play, uh, play Gay and Kante in these positions. But then maybe get like a big... A, a nice big like a Diego Costa or something like that in that. Uh, oh, I could have I could have played the um, the through ball there. Yeah, like maybe a big midfielder like that player of the month Harry Kane or player of the month uh, Diego Costa to sit in that cam role where I've got Lalana here. I, I think that'd be like just far more entertaining, really. That's nice from Gabriel Jesus. He finds Gay. Oh. I do like the way the the players are set up in and around the box as well. I, I think that's been an important part to this team being so effective. Is the fact that um, the fact that, that you do always have a, a good pass on, whether it be in the box or just outside the box, there is always something to do there. Oh, that that was back for Carl Walker. I don't know why the hell it's gone to where it's gone there. Oh, nice Walker. He gets the ball back. 68 minutes in now. I'll be looking to make a change in the next uh, next five or ten minutes. I think we could be through here with Gabriel Jesus, though. He is indeed through. The goalkeeper's coming out. The goalkeeper managed to get the ball. You know what I hate about throw-ins here. It will wait until the goalkeeper's back. How's that his? That's absurd. That is absolutely absurd. Now, the person we're playing against, I don't know where he finishes in foot champs, but obviously he's a foot champs competent player because he's got a red card in his team and a good red card at that. So he's at least gold standard in foot champs, which means this team is at least capable of playing against and beating gold standard players. I, I would probably guess the fact that he's got an 87 rated as, as his red card, that um, he's an elite standard player. That, that would be my guess, just because you've got to get very, very lucky to get like a Christian Eriksen uh, in, your, in your three pack. You know, I'm not saying it's uh, impossible. I've seen some, uh, some incredible three packs over time. It should be a fourth. Oh, that was Lalana into Martial, back into Lalana. Tried to do a, uh, a sombrero flip there. Didn't really work. Oh, Gabriel Jesus. Oh, he's in. He shoots. Took a deflection off the defender and straight into the keeper's hands. But uh, so I'm not, I'm not going to make subs in this game. There's, there's, it's unnecessary to uh, bring someone on. If he scores a second to get back into the game, um, then maybe I'll consider getting a, a substitute on. You know, But Mane has got all the stamina in the world against Danny Rose. That was a poor, poor pass. Uh, my defence is still good for stamina. This guy seems to be uh, ultra attacking now. So we've got Bai against Vardy. Vardy on the ball, Vai off the ball. Vardy's there, and Bai stays strong. We give up a corner. He isn't even. He's only a uh, balance still. Um, when you're all out attack, you get everyone in the box. When you're ultra attacking, you only keep two people back. And when you're attacking, you keep uh, three people back. Uh, and this guy, oh, that was, wait, that was really nice. Wait, was that, oh, that was Balassi. I was going to say, I, thought, I, I didn't know who that was that done that skill move. Oh, Marshall, I'll keep that in. Come on now. That's my ball, right? This ref is giving him everything. I don't understand. 
I don't understand. Right, hold on. Don't let him turn in. Don't let him get that ball away. The, the chance is kind of gone. Yes. And now we've got a big counter on here. We've got 4v4. I've got Martial down the left-hand side. That's a beautiful ball. Adam Lallana and uh, some nice passing there. Easy to get through. Oh, that's a, that's a good block. I should have I maybe skill dribbled there and got inside, but uh, I don't mind too much. Let's give it to uh, Man A. We've got Man in. Here is Lallana. Oh, he's beating him. Oh, he's beating him too. Oh, why did I swear? I should have just shot with Lallana. I should have just shot. It's 90th minute now. He's, he's probably going to score here. Like It's, it's a really good uh, goal-scoring opportunity. Low driven. Oh, he didn't even low driven. He has made it 3-2. I don't think it's going to have an impact on the game. Um, you know, the, it, once again, my both goals conceded here, guys. Don't be fooled by the fact that the scoreline is 3-2. Both goals conceded have come from my mishaps in-game. Um, you know, I conceded one because I fouled him in the box where there was uh, absolutely no need to do so. And I conceded one from... Go on, Jesus. Beautiful. Beautiful. I conceded one off my own corner when it was 90th minute and I could have done a little bit more with it. I've been impressed with Gabriel Jesus' this game as well. His positioning has been fantastic. His, I think he's had three shots. No, he had four shots. He missed that one shot because I went near post instead of far post. But where it's mattered, he has stepped up and he's banged in. The guy that I've been least impressed with is the guy that most pros cream over, and that's Martial. I, d I don't think he's been fantastic at all. Uh, he's barely been in the game. He hasn't really, you know, he, he hasn't had a shot. I can't remember if more than a couple of times that he's touched the ball. It's interesting as well because I have his red version, like the, the in-form uh, foot champs version of Martial on my road to glory account, and I've played a fair few games with him, and he doesn't get involved there either. I, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know what the issue is, but although a lot of people love him, for me, not so much, you know, not so much. So that is the final score, guys, 4-2. Courtois with five saves, De Gea with four saves. This team was good. Let's take a look. So goals, three for Jesus, one for Mane. Assist. Jesus got three goals and an assist. An assist coming from Lalana and two assists from coming from Kante. Martial did no goals, no goal assists, no shots. Um, you can see this play is like really through that main striker in, uh, in Gabriel Jesus, Mane with the one shot and the one goal. Lalana with two shots, but no goals come of it. The least passes, Smalling didn't really touch it. Bailly made more passes than Martial. Other than Valencia and Smalling and the goalkeeper, Martial did nothing. Just nothing. Um, dribbles, 9 out of 10 dribbles. That's actually surprising. And, and look at that Lalana dribbles, man. 15 out of 15. The right side of this team just feels cleaner. Mane really good, Gabriel Jesus, Lalana Kante really good, Adrissa Gay a little less. Maybe that's just like naturally the, the side that I play down more, perhaps, I don't know. Uh, crosses Martial and Mane, 0 out of 1 each, tackles 2 out of 3 for Martial. Uh, maybe he, did, he got involved by looks of things in more of a defensive uh, stance than anything else. Um, but we end up winning the game very comfortably 4-2 against G Carter there. In the end, after a, a tricky first half, we've, we've dominated the second half there. We pulled our passing up. We dominated possession. Eight shots, eight on target, four goals. My opponent, seven shots and five on target. But as you can see, one shot from the halfway line, two long shots, and then only four from inside the box. And all of my eight shots that were on target were all inside the box. So overall, would I recommend this team for foot champs? Absolutely, I would. I thought it played very, very good. And if you guys have got this team or something similar to this team, you know, maybe maybe, maybe Lalana I would change. Maybe Martial for Eden has a player of the month I would change. Um, I don't know, like maybe uh, the, um, the left back Valencia for the informal Alonso if you can afford it. Maybe I'd change that. Other than that, I thought this team was fantastic. So thank you to the person who sent it in. This, of course, is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.